so Roblox doors might be in trouble. There is a brand new game on Roblox that's coming for Roblox doors. A brand new game that's trying to knock doors off of its throne, take its place at the top of Roblox, and will do nothing to dem- Okay, well, some of that may have been an exaggeration. It sounded really cool for the intro, though, right? I mean, it's kind of weird to talk about Roblox doors now since it hasn't really had an update in over six months. A lot of the interest in the game has kind of went down a little bit as a result of that. We can actually go to the player charts and we can actually see that the amount of people playing each day is pretty much at the lowest it's really ever been. The last big content update for the game actually came out over a year ago. This right here, the Hotel Plus update, which came out on January 28th last year. We had Super Hard Mode added on April 1st of last year. And then the last update that came out all together was, of course, the one-year anniversary update. It added in the modifiers, as you might remember. But that was it. There hasn't been any new updates since then. In fact, we've only actually gotten one look at any new update since then. Here it is right here. This came out back in October. It's been over four months now. Here is a sneak peek of the mines. This is a sneak peek of floor two indoors. Now, when is floor two coming out? Well, we don't actually know. It's been kind of radio silence since that picture was tweeted out. Now, just to be clear, the developers have tweeted out and said that they have a lot of IRL things going on. Real life is, you know, kind of hitting them in the head over the past few months. Back in December, Splash tweeted and said, a bit random, but sorry about the radio silence on the doors update. We're chipping away at it, but Red and I have been dealing with a bunch of personal stuff, and every time we're back on track, something else comes up, and it's just a mess. We develop purely for passion and lately that's just been a bit lacking with everything going on as for the silence i just don't like to constantly remind fans every week that the game exists just to report no news so on the topic of updates i get this question probably almost every time i live stream do i know when the next update's going to be coming out and i don't maybe this month it may be a few months from now uh, the, the only thing we can really do is respect the developers and when it comes out, it comes out. Now, with that being said, Roblox Doors is still really, really popular, and people still want new Doors content. But, and let me ask you guys a question here. What happens whenever people really want something? But unfortunately, the place they usually get that something from isn't giving it out at the moment. Well, that's when some place new comes along. Or in this case, a brand new Roblox game. That is where this game called Haunt comes into play. Now, if you read Han's description here, it literally says inspired by doors by L Splash. And that's because this developer has created a brand new Doors style game. Now, many people have attempted to do this in the past. None of them have been successful, but oh boy, let me show you guys this game because it's crazy. And it might be just the game that Roblox Doors players have been looking for. So right from the loading screen, you're gonna notice the Roblox Doors inspired menus. Right from the lobby, you're gonna notice the Roblox Doors inspired lobby. And right from the elevators to start the game, you're gonna notice the Roblox Doors inspired elevator. Also, this music sounds kind of familiar too, doesn't it? Now, I usually hate describing one game by directly comparing it to another game, but as you can see, it's pretty similar to Doors, and that's kind of the best way to describe it. This is kind of Hotel Room 1, and the game begins by talking to this little character here. Look a little familiar, right? Kind of, a little bit. His name's Timmy. Yeah, that... That Timmy. What's up, baby? Mama, this Timmy. This track's gonna hit 40 million. And no, I actually didn't have anything to do with making this game. I actually found out about it a few days ago myself. But anyway, in this first room here, you can buy different items just like you can indoors during the elevator section like this pepper that makes you run a lot faster you know instead of vitamins we got a pepper and then you'll notice the first door is locked we have to find the key that's somewhere in this first room there it is right there get main key and now we can open up this big bad first door this is gonna look really familiar you've got items like the flashlight you've got the lantern here and basically how the game plays from here on out is it's completely randomly and procedurally generated just like roblox stores again there's gonna be a lot of uh comparisons here and the goal of the game is to make your way through all the doors all the way to door 100 i don't think the game actually calls them doors i think they're called like sections or something but 
I mean, same thing. Now, one big difference with this game indoors is this character here, Timmy, he actually follows you around and you can... I actually don't know what just happened. Okay, but he'll actually randomly give you coins. You can talk to him, interact with him. He's kind of like a little friend that just follows you around. He's here to help you on your journey and he hides behind trees for some reason. No, every now and then you actually come across like some locked rooms. Again, similar to Roblox stores. And in order to get into those locked rooms, you have to find the key hidden somewhere nearby. Like here, I've just found the red house key. I can go ahead, open it up. See what's hiding in the red house. We got a little chest right here. I'm going, oh, you need a crowbar or a lockpick to unlock this chest. Do I have one? You actually have a backpack in this game, and you can actually equip and unequip different items. So here's a crowbar. I can actually go ahead and open this up. All right. There we go. We got some coins. We got a health potion. Awesome. That's actually one way that this game is different from Roblox Doors. In Doors, if you die or lose, all the items that you have actually go away. But in this game, you actually keep all your items permanently. They, they don't get deleted if you die. You get to keep them. And then you can use them all whenever you want. They just go into your back. Oh, I think we might be. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. We need to hide. So in this game, instead of rush... We actually get these birds. And whenever the lights flash and your screen turns black and white. Wait for it. That was Rush right there. But instead of Rush, it's actually a giant raven. It's a bird. So whenever you see your screen turn black and white, whenever you see those lights flash, it's basically Rush. You need to, you need to hide. Again, very much Roblox doors inspired. Now, there's also this like rope that's on the ground and attached to the ceiling and if you step in it you'll get well hoisted up to the ceiling it, it's a trap i'll show you guys if you step that that happens and you have to cut your way out but you have to have a knife in order to cut your way out and I actually don't have a knife so that's um that's bad i'm going to die here like that there we go it even pops up with text like roblox doors whenever you die now once you get the door 25 well let me just show you this might look a little bit familiar. So our, our friend Timmy there, he gets stuck. And that's basically figure. This is the library section. You have to find and place stones on pedestals. So instead of finding books, you have to find stones. And just like with Rush, our little skeleton friend there, he's blind. He can't see. He can only hear you. So we have to crouch and quietly walk around while we try and find these stones right here that we can put on pedestals. You can see it says one out of four stones placed. We have to place them all in order to unlock the exit door. Again, kind of like finding all the books. Here's another one right here. Place that two out of four. Here's another one right there we just picked up. And I think this one goes right here. Yeah, you have to match them. There we go. Now, every time you put a stone down, the figure or the skeleton, whatever you want to call him, he actually gets faster. So we got to be... Oh! It... Well... He found us. We got a little bit too close there. Now, thanks to Mr. Cacbros here for his walkthrough video on the game. We're going to take a look at this for a second. Because like I mentioned, that was just door 25. There's a boss fight in the game every 25 doors instead of every 50 like in regular Roblox doors. So like, for example, at door 50 in this game, you have to fight a giant eyeball. That's, that's literally what you have to fight. This, this thing, it's actually terrifying. Kind of similar to eyes and doors. You can't look at it or else it does damage to you. But you beat it by turning these lights towards it. And once you have all the lights turned towards it, well, it'll actually catch on fire. And then the exit door will open. And as you can tell, that's literally only half the game. There's even more boss fights in the game. Even more cutscenes, as you can see here. Like, this game actually blew my mind, which is why I wanted to make a video on it, because I've seen a lot of Doors clones out there. I've never seen any this good. Like, look at this. This is a cutscene in the game. This is actually crazy. Just for funsies, here's another one of those boss fights you get every 25 doors. This is actually the furthest I've made it in the game because, spoiler alert, this game is actually a lot more difficult than Roblox doors, at least from what I've seen. Now, I really hope that this game does well. I hope it takes off. Having another game similar to doors that we can all play while we wait for doors to update, I think that's great. I love these types of games. I love Roblox Doors. I love this game. This game's awesome. If people want to make more games like Doors, 
Bring it on, man. I love this stuff. So let me know what you guys think about this game down in the comments section. Hopefully we get a new official Doors update soon. I'll also have a link to Haunt down in the description as well. You guys can go check it out.